All right, y'all. Y'all wanted the basketball wise uh, review. This is exactly what this is. I'm letting y'all know now. This is not going to be a funny video. Some parts of it may be funny to y'all, but it's not funny to me. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into it, girl. Let's go. Alright y'all, so listen, I can't even lie to y'all right now. Girl, I'm tipsy boots, okay? And maybe it's because I'm tipsy boots is why this episode of Basketball Wives started out funny. But it's not funny. Like, and, and I took notes, but I'm going to have to deviate from my notes from this video because I just had enough. First and foremost, I apologize for being so dimly lit in here um my cousin is up the front she's still here she's talking to her dude or whatever and you know i don't want to you know break up the scene with that so i came up in here in another room um this is as much lighting as i got for right now so if it is a little dark i definitely apologize and like comment share and most importantly, subscribe. Make sure y'all hit that bell. Become a part of the notification gang gang. And if you really rocks with my channel the way majority of y'all say y'all do, watch those ads, please. On any video that has ads, please watch them. Y'all, this episode of Basketball, what, like y'all see what I'm sitting here doing? Y'all see what I'm sitting here doing, girl? You may as well call me Tammy Romaine. Girl... This episode of Basketball Wives. It was sad. It was sad. It, it was delayed. And much like Evelyn's ran through puss, it was through. Tired and through. Um, and then, I, like I said, I have to deviate from my notes. And it's because I do. But I do want to say this. Malaysia... You started off that whole argument yet again being so willing to take up for Evelyn quicker than you are to take up for your family. In Malaysia, I don't get it. I do not get it, Malaysia. It's like, you're like, and I, I loved you, Malaysia. I loved you since Basketball Wives LA. You always stood your own. You held your own. You never followed the crowd. You always made sure to stand up for what was right and what was fair. And that's what I loved about you. Even when other people would sit up in the comments and call you bougie, bouge toi, hood, ghetto, a hood booger, a Compton hood rat, I was always one of them ones that never looked at you that way. I was always one of the ones that always took up for you and stood up for you and always had your back when it came to certain situations because I always seemed to follow your logic. Nowadays, Malaysia, I, 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 can't, I, I, I just don't like you. I don't like you. I, I'm still confused and bewildered as to why it is that you're more willing to stand up for an outsider that will turn on you at the drop of a dime than you are to stand up and take up for your family that you claim that you love so much, you so family orient, oriented, you love Byron, you love Thomas, you love this, you love that. Why are you more interested and willing to take up for Evelyn than you are to take up for CC. Yes, yeah, CC called Evelyn a hood rat because she is one. She is one. She's the biggest hood rat that has ever came across my goddamn TV screen. You know it. I know it. She can know it. My homegirl Phoebe know it. And that poor pathetic toothpick ass feet. Like, I'm going to get off of Malaysia right quick. Phoebe. I'm. See, I thank God. Next week is the season finale, but next week really needs to be the series finale. Like, I'm not interested in seeing none of these hoes again. And listen, CC, OG, and Jackie included. Like, at this point, everybody, including the show, including the producers, including 
uh, Hampton J. Pig from Tiny Toons Face Ass Shawnee need to just go. The show is done. Stick a fork, a toothpick, a butter knife, whatever you got in it because it's just done. It's done. It's through. It's like... I'm really getting upset talking about it because I'm honestly just not used to women being in the age range that these women are and they're acting like this. I don't get it. All of us are old hoes. I'm 31. Y'all got to be in y'all mid to late 30s, early, early and mid 40s. Jackie damn near 70 at this point. I'm just not used to women. Women, grown-ass women, married, with children, most of y'all, parading around and acting in the way that y'all are acting. I'm just not. Getting back to Phoebe. I don't want you back no more, Phoebe. I don't want you back. You give the Bronx a bad name, and I have to rep the Bronx because I live in West Hempstead, Long Island, okay? I'm no longer down south. It ain't about where you're from. It's where you're at. And as far as you are concerned, Phoebe, much like your road dog, Evelyn, none of y'all are about that life. You're just not. Getting off of you because you're such a waste of my time. I will say this, though. Jackie, Cece... Jackie, CC, and OG. Y'all get the Dead Dad Award for giving these hoes the business. Y'all gave them the business, not only on day two, in that tired ass restaurant that y'all was at. And that, that's a whole nother thing. Y'all just have no respect. For, it's bad enough that you don't have respect for yourselves as grown ass women, mother, business women, wives, girlfriends, and I, I, I. But then y'all go carry y'all asses way over there to a whole nother country acting a damn donkey. For, like, Evelyn, here's why I would definitely get on you. And I said it before in the previous video. We've seen you throw bottles. We've seen you throw cups. We've seen you throw drinks. We've seen you try to jump over at a table. We've never seen your hand skills, sis. And what you did, that I, and this is one thing that I absolutely hate. And let me put my cigarette out for this shit right here. For you to run your scary, frail, pasty ass tr up on CC when she was walking away and had her back turned to you, it says a lot about you and who the flying hell you really are as a person. Everything that Tammy has ever said to you and, and said about you is absolutely right. She was no threat to you. And there was nothing that she said that really, like, Evelyn, you really honestly want me to sit here and believe that you was up all night mad, upset, and, and, and pissed off and frustrated off of her calling you whatever the hell she was that she called you because she read your ass and you couldn't take it. So now that, now that you got read from a person that you... You feel like it's beneath you, that's lower than you, that you feel ain't about that life, even though your ass, your, your, your uh, ass isn't. Now you want to run up behind her, trying to act like you going to do something to her. I don't get, and then, and then, and like, then you got shinies. <sighs> Alright, let me, let me calm down. Let me calm down because I want to give y'all an adequate video because I know y'all been waiting on this. And I'm so sorry if this isn't the funny, ha-ha, giving you the real tea that y'all are used to. But this shit just can't be funny no more. It, it, it like, it's, it's just all, like, if y'all can't connect as anything, y'all should be able to connect as women. First and foremost, Shawnee, this is another time. Where you're not in charge of the girls. You love to holler that you the EP. I'm sorry for my TV, y'all. Hold on. All right. This is yet another time. Well, all of this stuff could have been avoided had you just opened your mouth and said something. You, you, you want to push this narrative. You and your old dog, Evelyn. Want to... And, and Kristen and... uh. Malaysia and Phoebe at this point, you want to push this narrative that she's so combative, she's so angry, she's so threatening, she's so this, she's so that. But you chill with Evelyn. I don't get it. 
Where does the double standard kick in? Unlike um, OG, Evelyn has done far worse. Evelyn not only talked about people, she actually done bar could have done some real serious bodily harm to a couple of people. OG never did. Yeah, OG may have said she'll break y'all neck. So what? I want to break y'all damn neck. What you gonna do? Get a restraining order put out on me? You love to indulge in the stuff. But then you want to elevate yourself back up to an EP position when the, when the kitchen gets hot and you want to stand up and take up for your role dog, Evelyn. I don't get it, Hampton JPEG. Help it make sense to me, girl, because it just don't make sense to me. Like, Shawnee, I don't care what you got going on. I could care less about whatever business uh, transactions or whatever business thing that you got. Like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't like you enough as a person to give a damn. I just don't. I said it before and I'm going to say it again. You're the most common, classless person up there. You definitely are from Inglewood. And I don't mean to lump L all that before y'all try to attack me. I'm not trying to lump all Inglewood people in, in the same umbrella under the same uh, blanket that I'm wrapping her ass up in. I'm not trying to do that. I'm not. I'm just only speaking on people that I know from Inglewood that is just like Shawnee. You do your third, you throw the rock and you want to have your hand and elevate yourself back up to some high ass position. When I done already told you, girl, you only one of many executive producers of this show. And I'm not mad at OG for lightweight going in on you. And OG, I really didn't want you to go lightweight. I wanted you to give Shawnee O'Neal the biz naive the same way you gave Evelyn the biz naive because her ass deserved it. Then y'all sitting around here, you so clicked up like this is elementary, middle, or high school. You in two separate houses. You, you, you do like... Then you get like Kristen, I could care less about you. I could care even less about them fake phony ass crocodile tears that you cried because that's your go to. Use a choir because you's a weak bitch. You love to sit up and indulge in nonsense, much like Evelyn, much like Evelyn and Shawnee, but then you never want to take accountability for the part that you played in this. What does CC have to do with you talking about Byron? Calling him a piece, basically a piece of shit grandfather. That came out of your mouth. So how how is CC, Aiden, and Byron not wanting to be a part of you and Thomas's life? And another thing, while we on that, I don't understand the double standards. Y'all are so quick to want to tell OG, mind your business. Why you want to be CC's bodyguard? This has everything to do with CC and Kristen. But yet it's perfectly fine for Evelyn and Shawnee to stir the pot in their family business. It's perfectly okay. But the minute OG says, wait a minute. Oh no ma'am. Y'all not about to sit here and try to bulldoze my homegirl the way that y'all always do. That's why OG went over there, not to be a distraction, but just to make sure that they, the, the, the conversation stays just that. Because Kristen had an ulterior motive for that, as well as Evelyn had an ulterior motive for that. And another thing, production, I'm going to get on y'all ass. What I don't like that y'all do, y'all love to show this favoritism. And it's, it's blatantly obvious. Y'all showed everything from Tammy bullying people to Evelyn throwing bottles. The minute that OG DDT uh, Evelyn in them damn bushes, because that's what I believe that she did. Y'all don't want to show that. The only thing y'all want to show was her getting up, getting the thorns and shit out her damn ass. And I like, let me stop cussing because I'm being monetized. And, you know, I, 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 you know, they, 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 they don't want that on YouTube. I can say what I got to say without being so, you know, cussified, if that's a word. But first, I'm tipsy. Second of all, I'm just upset. I'm upset. Like, and this can't be a funny video. y'all. Like, I know y'all wanted this to be funny. But I, can, I cannot make this funny because 
It's no longer funny. It's no longer funny. It, it, it's really not. It's no longer funny and it really isn't entertaining. And the only reason why I'm still watching this stale ass show is because y'all love it. Y'all better appreciate this here. Because if Basketball Wives come out again for a ninth season, I'm telling y'all right now, I will not be reviewing it. I will not be watching it. Don't ask me. I don't know who going to be up there. I don't know what's going on. Getting back to Evelyn with them tired, lazy ass reads that you was trying to give OG. And I keep saying it. Everything that you try to read people on is the same thing that you are going through. Yeah, you had a husband. Yeah, you had kids. Girl, so what? A dog can have kids. That don't make her a mother. And a damn show don't make you one, considering the fact that you allowed your oldest daughter, Shanice, to fend for herself while you was out riding around getting it, trying to hop on every ding lane that you could find just so that them men could pay your damn bills. What skills do you got, Evelyn? Because unlike you, Cece had her own before she met Byron. OG had her own, I'm sure, before she met Kwame. And I'm not mad at her for going in and letting have on you. Nor am I, uh, nor am I not mad at her bringing in Ocho Cinco. I'm not, and the gag is, I believe every single solitary word of it. Because Ocho, Ocho Cinco don't bang with you no more, F. And I'm not understanding if, you, if you're doing domestic abuse stuff and he don't matter to you no more, why should it matter even if everything that you said was true, even if she did try to get in his DMs, why do you care? You claim you don't, but girl, I can't tell because in the next episode, you calling yourself digging up DMs that I don't know how you got because I already know Ocho Cinco don't bang with you no more. So I'm more than sure he ain't give you them damn DMs, girl. Fix my damn table. Cussing out these old ass hoes. Lord forgive my language. I'm sorry y'all. Like I don't even mean to be upset. But I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm upset. I'm disappointed. I'm sad. It's unfortunate. That women just can't be around each other. And just be women. That women can't agree to disagree and move on. That women just don't know how. They're so thirsty and desperate for the reality TV coin. Like, y'all are supposed to be like role models for these uh, 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 bad girls club girls. Or these black ink crew girls. Or these love and hip hop girls. Like, y'all should be on the same level of pettiness that... um. The Real Housewives is on. Even they not sitting here trying to jump across tables, throw bottles, throw drinks, and I, I, I. <clears throat> Let me see what else I can find out of this uh, th thing, girl. Uh, getting on another thing. So, Shani, it was two years ago that Kristen called you a bitch, and you're not upset. But she should be upset. No, OG, try, OG should be upset about what Cece said about her a year ago when she didn't know you. Not to mention, Brandy called you a bitch. You, quote unquote, fired her for it. But Kristen... Old Ratatouille face behind could sit there and call you a bitch. She can apologize for it. And it's okay. Yeah, I know it's okay. Because you are just like Evelyn. When it comes to people that you look down upon, you want to build a clique around them. So why not forgive uh, Kristen at this point for what she said about you a year ago? Why not? 
And my whole thing to you, Shani, is this. CC never done anything to you. CC never degraded you. CC never talked about you. CC never was, was fake or phony in your face. So what's your issue with CC? It ain't that one. You want to have an issue with her because your old dog, Evelyn, have an issue with her. And your old dog, Kristen, has an issue with her. And, you're, and, and like, Malaysia, you, you so damn wishy-washy. Uh, my God, I'm just... <sighs> well, the only good thing that happened in this episode was seeing Evelyn have to pr uh, prick out the the the, the uh, uh, thorns out of that puss. That's it's the same circumference as this room I'm in. While she's sitting around there winding her dirty puss down to that dirty ground. But then again, I mean the, the dirt in her puss is one and the same. So I mean, I guess it felt more comfortable being on that dirty ass ground than it like uh, the good girl. <sighs> What's good, T subs? Hi y'all. <laughs> Girl, I'm about to get off of here. Like, I'm just done talking about these hoes. I'm done dealing with these hoes. I mean, yeah, I'm going to go on ahead and finish out the rest of this season for y'all. I go on ahead and watch next week's episode. Give y'all the review for that. I'll go on ahead and watch the reunions. Give y'all a review for that. But I'm telling y'all right now, I'm not dealing with this show no more. I'm just not. I'm over it. I'm, like, I'm over it. It's not funny and it's not entertaining. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm done. Stick a fork in me because I'm through with it. I'm through. So with that, like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. Be a part of the T-Sub Gang Gang. And again, if you really rock and love my channel, like I know y'all do, please watch those ads. Support me. Support me, and I'm going to continue to give y'all the real tea as I've always been doing. Girl, I'm about to get off of here because I got a lot of editing to do. This video was 21 minutes um, going on into 22. I'm going to set out there gossiping Kiki with Phoebe, my Phoebe, not that tired ass uh, uh, Phoebe from the show, not her, not her, my Phoebe from Brooklyn. Like Bronx, is that is, is, is F and Phoebe what the Bronx is giving? Because if it is, I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. But girl, I'm about to get off of here and I'm going to holler at y'all later, girl. Bye.